Charleston County School District Superintendent Anita Huggins sat down with the Live 5 to have a deeper conversation about next year's budget. The first reading of the budget was passed unanimously by the Board of Trustees back on May 20th. Two of the major budget proposals would make CCSD, Charleston County School District, the only district in the state to implement a new funding formula and lead teacher compensation in South Carolina. Live 5's Emily Johnson joins us from outside of district headquarters after close closely following these budget discussions over the last few months. Emily, why is this particular budget so important? Ralph, while this budget has been called the most difficult that some have seen in years due to the large amount of federal pandemic money drying up, but newly elected Superintendent Anita Huggins and Chief Financial Officer Daniel Prentice have worked together with their teams to ensure that every single thing is covered. Now, board members and people and members of the public have all shared their praises for this budget with the first reading, including a $7,500 raise for teachers, classified employee raise and adoption of the weighted student funding model. Huggins was one of the largest advocates of the WSF model since it would allow resources to be allocated to help schools in the district with students in poverty, special education or multi lingual. Now, one of the original models presented stated around 32,000 students would fall under the funding before board members argued that students could fall into more than one category. After hearing feedback from the first reading, Huggins and her team recreated this graph to reflect students that could be fall under multiple categories with that new number being 25,000 students. The number is almost half of all students in CCSD that fall under poverty, special education or multilingual. With hopefully, you know, adopting this model, how do you think that these students will benefit from these new resources? That it could provide to them the wraparound supports that they need for the social de emotional development that our children need, particularly those who um, are other underserved or coming from um, backgrounds or, or, or difficult situations that not all students have to face. The second budget reading will be on June 24th, followed by a public hearing. Reporting in downtown Charleston, Emily Johnson, Life 5 News.